Hi, my name's Liam Hayter, Product Manager in Live Production at BizRT, and uh, here today to talk about the latest release for our CaptureCast uh, system, which is CaptureCast 7.1, uh, which improves even further the workflow capabilities of our event, meeting, and lecture capture appliance. So in version seven earlier on this year, we announced CaptureCast Spaces and a lower price point for CaptureCast, enabling you to start with managing a single space using NDI and then expand through low cost subscriptions to cover multiple rooms simultaneously. And now with 7.1, it's about introducing automation and deeper integration with the VizRT portfolio. So first things first, um, if we go into any capture session through any template, so for example, I have my demo system here, I'm just gonna write a name in the system and hit start, a couple of things can now automatically happen. Your administrator can set up all tallies to actually turn red for recorded devices. This means that a presenter can know with confidence that their camera is being recorded or their presentation is recorded simply by automatically activating the tally light. Secondarily, PTZ or pan tilt zoom cameras that use NDI can also be told to turn on their tally where those cameras are being recorded, but also move to a preset start position for the recording and then return to a secondary position at the end of that space's workflow. This is fantastic for multi-purpose rooms and event spaces where perhaps you don't want your cameras pointing in the room all the time, you want them to move out the way so people don't feel like they're being watched or monitored, but also to give a visual cue and indicator of where to present from and that everything is set up to present. So now that we're recording here on the CaptureCast, all of the cameras have already moved into their preset position. And at the same time, another new function that's coming out from CaptureCast is that we now have a live NDI HX output of any recorded source or the media canvas, which can be brought out to NDI Studio Monitor or any NDI HX available decoder on the system. So once that's running, we can now get a low latency NDI HX preview of our stream, a low cost affordable way to ensure the presenters can see what's being recorded and captured. And at the end, when we hit stop on that particular running workflow, our cameras and devices are gonna to return to their default positions. And also the tally lights will turn back off because those sources are no longer being recorded. And each workflow can have different combinations of tally, different combinations of PTZ positions, and different NDI HX outputs to actually make this even more granular than before. So for our, our customers using Panopto or Kaltura integrations with CaptureCast, all of these workflow extensions remain true as well. So uh, as soon as I start hitting record here in Panopto, then that in turn is of course triggering CaptureCast to start recording, which in turn is telling our cameras and our tally lights uh, to actually activate. So cameras will be in the right position at the right time. The tally lights will turn red, so we don't need recording lights in those recording spaces and everything else can follow through in suit. So when we then stop that, again, same thing applies. CaptureCast will stop recording, start publishing up to our video management system, and then all of those devices will return back to their default inactive uh, state and also back into their PTZ position profiles as well at the same time. For those of our customers that don't want to actually utilize video management integration or would also like shared storage on premises and post-production workflows, CaptureCast now also integrates directly with VizRT network remote storage, providing share browser media asset management on there and integration with Adobe Premiere, Avid Media Prosa, Final Cut, and of course DaVinci Resolve as well for post-production workflows using those same recorded assets from the CaptureCast. Um, as well as working with our VizRT NRS, that's true of any SMB type share as well for the CaptureCast system. So if anybody would like some more information, please do get in touch with Digibox. They can walk you through all the configuration options for CaptureCast and we'd be more than happy to arrange a demo for you as and when you need.